I'm going to do a quick overview of some of the features of Lattice. So here is the splash screen. It'll show you recently opened LUTs. And so I'm going to open up this Kodak 2383 LUT here. And you'll see there's a default image, and it's a Cineon default image. So um, you can see how the LUT is affecting a particular image. You can change the default image by setting in the preferences uh, uh, the image. So uh, you can drag a DPX here or a JPEG or any other image format, and it will um, reflect in the view. Uh, on the right, there's information about the LUT, the size, the input bounds, the output maximum and minimum value, and um, some information about what uh, the type of LUT it was. Um, you can look at the cube, and uh, this is actually kind of cool. You can you can kind of see how the LUT warps colors. So you can go from the identity to the output. And, and see what happens. Um, there's a curves view that helps visualize the contrast of the image. And uh, there's some data points here that help show you the, the contrast mapping. Um, up in the toolbar, we have a color space converter. And you can go from all sorts of crazy things. So you can go from P3 uh, to, you know, Rick 709, D65, saying, you know, you could do gamma. 2, 2 to DM and 2, 2 or whatever. Um, you can isolate the contrast of a LUT. So in this case, it would just get rid of any of the emulation um, part of the LUT. And as you can see, it's a uniform cube now um, because there's no color warping. It's just you just get the contrast curve of the image. Um, and you can kind of get the opposite of that, isolate color which will basically just get you the color shift. So that still preserves the, the warping of the emulation LUT here. Um, you can convert to monochrome using a couple of different options for mixing channels. You can mix the contrast curves of the LUT. So as you can see here, they're a little bit separated out, but you could you could average them together and um, you get a slightly different uh, look of the LUT doing it that way. Um, you can combine a LUT either by clicking here or just dragging the LUT in and it will uh, combine them for you. And um, there are a few other features just in the menu here so you could um, scale the output. You can. There are a couple different uh, macros for just scaling the minimum and maximum uh, output value to zero to one. And um, there's extended to legal, legal to extended. You can clamp the output. Um, so there are a few different options there. Um, the history tab is nice. You can see kind of the order of operations of what you did. So if you said, okay, so. I'm going to do, um, uh, you know, I, I need to come from legal range to extended. Then I need to, um, then I need to limit the output to, you know, whatever, and and then change the color space to something crazy. All that information is preserved here, so you can see what you did. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty basic overview of the functionality, and uh, there'll be more videos like this to come. Thanks.